Hi Scorpios, I'm here to give you your June 2020 general tarot reading. Yes! Alrighty then, I'm going to be giving you not a one off but two a tarot readings. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to be using the Trip and Wait tarot deck followed by the Prisma Visions tarot deck. Uh, so you will be getting two readings and I will be using an oracle reading as well as a body positive affirmation reading as well. So please note that this is a general collective tarot reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Make sure you check your sun, moon, and ascending sign. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and the notification button so you know when I'm going live and when I'm dropping content and all that key stuff, okay? Right? And make sure you comment down below if you like the reading, if it resonates with you, you like the decks, you like what the fuck I'm saying, make sure you give a shout out. And if you like a personal tarot reading in the description box below is a link to my Instagram channel. You can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly to book a tarot reading. Okay, so let me go ahead and do my reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing cards for you, Scorpio. So I've got the Seven of Wands reverse. I have the Six of Wands reverse, okay. Okay, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll take the cards that popped up this first. I got the Knight of Cups reverse. I got the King of Cups reverse. I got the Two of Pentacles reverse. The Ace of Cups the Eight of Wands, and the Hermit card reverse. Okay, the bottom of the deck, okay. All right, the bottom of the deck, the overall vibe for Scorpio I have, it is the Three of Cups here. So I'm seeing a lot of celebrations, having a good time. Some of you are finally getting out of the house, maybe going to bars, maybe just finally celebrating, hanging out with friends and family. I'm seeing a lot of alcohol. I feel like you are going through a very dark depression, Scorpio, and you're finally getting out of it. You may be relying on a crutch, whether alcohol, smoking, you know, whatever the case may be, in order for you to get out of this funk, okay? Um, you could have been dealing with a three-party situation as well. I am seeing a lot of fire signs. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. There is a lot of quick action. Alrighty then, so I do have the Seven of Wands reverse. Now, I feel like there is some sort of enemy, some sort of frenemy. It could be that bitch Becky at work, right near that water cooler. It could, you could also be dealing with a Karen as well, is what I'm also hearing, followed by the Six of Wands reverse. It feels like somebody stole your idea and claimed it as their own. I'm also seeing somebody trying to humiliate you and succeeding. You know, like trying to make you look dumb in front of the boss. Um, this could also be dealing with um, just a frenemy or an enemy. It could be like a friend pretending to be your friend, but they're just there just to one up you to take. Um, they're trying to steal. They're extremely jealous of you. And they're trying to deflate your, they're trying to get at your ego. They are trying to insult you. Um the Knight of Cups reverse, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. I'm also seeing an Aquarius as well. But I am seeing some sort of like the romance is fading. It feels like the connection's not there. Now, for others of you, this is a loss of a friendship. It feels like this person is very inconsiderate. You could be dealing with a narcissist, somebody that is just always jealous of you. They could be jealous of what you're succeeding and you could be going through a hard time and instead of like being a good friend like you've always done, they're trying to put you down. Like they're going out of their way to try to make you feel bad. The King of Cups servers, this is also a Scorpio. This person is very much of a liar. It's, this person is a very much of a manipulator. This person likes to gaslight you. And they're trying to play your emotions. It could be dealing with an ex. It could be dealing with a current partner. Um, I'm also seeing a little bit of Pisces as well. But this is somebody that's full on trashy that is trying to ruin your reputation, right? And they're pretending to be your friend, but they are full on fucking playing you. And this person could be an ex. 
that is trying to just drag your reputation, trying to drag your name um, down to the mud. Now we do have the two of pentacles reversed. I feel like there is some sort of falling out here. And it feels like because of this person that kind of like betrayed you is like, well, fine then. I am no longer going to financially depend on you. I am no longer going to help you out in any ways. Uh, you're going to be finding out more and more that this person was really a leech and they're taking advantage of you. And then they're going to figure out really quickly that, you know, the gravy train is over. Uh, this is an ex, I feel like, or a very bad toxic friend that is just trying to ruin you. Because it is a third party situation, like this person could be like fucking one of your friends or a family member, and then they're gonna try to gaslight the shit out of you, and they're gonna try to flip the story the other way around. You don't have to worry about that. If, if this long distance relationship, this travel, this thing is ending, um, with the Ace of Cups here, there is a new beginning. There is new love, new friendship, new romances that are happening your way. In fact, it's going to be happening very quickly. It feels like this person, this new person is somebody that you know, and it is a friend and they've always had a thing for you and they were, you know, and they were just always waiting until this person showed their true colors and they were completely out of your life. This is when this person is gonna be stepping in and say like, I'm into you, I really want a relationship with you, you are the one. Because this person does not want to be single. It feels like this person is older. They are an old spirit. This is a Virgo Aquarius vibe. They're going to be making it very clear that they have a thing for you. There is strong water signs here, but there's also strong fire signs too. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is very quick communication. And they're making it very well known that I want to, put, I want to be with you. I've been single for so long because I chose to be because I was waiting for you. Like this is gonna be a Luke to the Lorelei. This is gonna be Luke to your Lorelei story. Like you hold on to my horoscope. You know, like you hold on to my horoscope. Like show them the poem, you know, show them the note. Uh, so if that reading resonated, make sure that you comment down below. Uh, you don't have to worry about your trash ex because there is somebody so much better that's coming out there for you. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Prisma Visions Tarot deck. So if the first reading did not resonate, hopefully the second one does. So let's go ahead and see what is that buttercup. So let's go ahead and find out for Scorpio. Scorpio for June 2020. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take that card up. So I have the Seven of Cups for Scorpio. I have the King of Swords. I have the Six of Swords. I have the Page of Pentacles reversed. And I have the King of Pentacles, okay? Fascinating. The bottom of the deck, the overall vibe, I have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is a very good energy since we do have a matching set. Um, so you could be a married couple, uh, you could be in a relationship where it is a very good solid relationship. Um, if you are single, you will be finding your equal match to your partner soon. You're no longer going to be putting your life on hold. It feels like you've just been kind of just floating around for the sake of floating around. Uh, once you decide to kind of put yourself out there is when you're going to meet this person. Like you finally put yourself out there like on Tinder or whatever. Okay, um, there are two kings here. So this is going to be about power. You could be dealing with more than one individual, more than one man. It could be a father, brother, your partner, your boyfriend, you know, things of that nature. So I have the seven of cups here. I'm seeing somebody that's very confused. You could be dating multiple people because you really don't know who is going to be the right match for you. Um, I am also seeing that somebody may be just kind of partaking in things that... Um, that may not be the best for you. Um, it's kind of like you're filling a void because you just don't really know what to do with your life, okay? But I am seeing for some that you may be de uh, dating more than one individual. This could be a homosexual relationship. It does not have to be, but I am seeing more than one and more than one individual um, that, that is dating. Now, I do have the King of Swords here. This could be an Aquarius that you'll be dealing with, but I am seeing that somebody that's very logical. This person could be a teacher, a lawyer, um, uh, Somebody that's very logical, they could be a scientist. They're all about fact, fact-based. You know, they're very logical. They're not emotional. 
they're not an emotional cripple. They just know how to express themselves, but they're not like a, like a crybaby about it, you know? Um, this person is very tactful as well, okay? And they're more reserved. Uh, they're well spoke. They're opinionated, but they're uh, but they're reserved at the same time. If that makes any sense. Now the six of swords. This is just moving on for a very traumatic experience. Now I'm seeing for some of you, you are going. You are very confused. You may have been through like rehab. You may have gone through seeing like a counselor or a therapist. I'm seeing for some of you, you may have had to speak to somebody uh, that you trust that was able to give you logical sound advice in order for you to move on from a very tragic uh, tr situation, a very hard time in your life. Now the page of pentacles reverse, it feels like there's no offer right now. It could be that right now you may be unemployed. This is only temporary. This is not a permanent situation or you're not enrolled in school yet. Um, it feels like right now that there's no offers. There could be no romantic offers, anything right now. And it's really because you're choosing not to put yourself out there. For others, there is some sort of bad news. It doesn't mean that this is like this that you're fucked it just means that this is just a temporary setback it's just not happening right now at this moment now the king of pentacles here all right this is just somebody that's very grounded and very secure you've been very spiritual you're very humble um you know you're going to be in a more financial secure situation and if you are single you are going to be meeting the king to your queen if you could be dealing with a, uh, a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Now, if you are in a relationship, you are married, you are dealing with a marriage counselor or a therapist, and you will be able to get over this hard time, okay? It could have been a fidelity issue. It could have been trust issues. It feels like this is an overall trust issue. It does not always have to be fidelity. It could be that somebody is not honest with their feelings about their intentions, their motives. It could be that somebody was dealing with a some sort of an addiction, okay? Um, but you are able to get over this both of you are able to get over this hard time um, and you are going to um, overcome this rock patch, okay? So if that resonated, make sure that you comment down below. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your oracle and your body positive affirmation reading. So this is going to be for Scorpio. Okay, so I got ready, set, go. Set your sights higher. Come on, Scorpio. For June, we got soulmate relationship. I told you, girl. We got weight and friendship. Girl, what did I? What did I just fucking say? Okay, so I got friendship. Make a date for a play day for with one or more friends. Okay, you're gonna be getting together, hanging out with some friends. Okay. Now wait. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. Just. Go with the flow, have fun with things, enjoy the new you. Okay, so soulmate relationship, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. I'm telling you, this is gonna be somebody that you know that's gonna be making it very motherfucking clear that they're into you. Ready, set, go. Now is a perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire and set your sights higher, increase your standards Don't ex and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. As you have more options and opportunities, don't get back to your old habits of dating trash, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and do body positive affirmation readings. So these are additional messages that you need to hire, okay? And here are your messages. I am strong, I'm grounded, I am fucking powerful. Followed by, I'm a grown ass human being, I do whatever the fuck I want. I got, I radiate myself love like fucking sunshine, y'all. I got, I don't need to change my body. I just need to change my fucking mindset. And I will nourish to fucking flourish. Okay, so hopefully these readings resonated with you. If they do, make sure that you comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Thank you. I love you guys. Stay safe. Wash your hands. And nano nano.